Understanding Grizzly Bear, an English Language Guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, Grizzly Bear. This is a fascinating topic, not just in terms of wildlife but also in how we use this phrase in the English language. So, let's dive right in and learn all about grizzly bears. The term, grizzly bear, refers to a large species of bear, primarily found in North America. They are known for their distinctive hump on their backs, and their fur, which has a grizzled appearance, that is, golden and gray tips on a darker base. Grizzlies are a subspecies of the brown bear and are famous for their size and strength. Grizzly bears hold a significant place in various cultures. They are often seen as symbols of strength, wilderness, and resilience. In Native American cultures, the grizzly bear is revered and respected, often featuring in folklore and mythology. They also appear in modern culture, in stories, movies, and as mascots for sports teams, symbolizing power and courage. In English, the phrase, grizzly bear, can be used metaphorically. For example, someone might say, he's as fierce as a grizzly bear, to describe a very angry or formidable person. Or, I woke up feeling like a grizzly bear, meaning they felt grumpy or irritable upon waking. These expressions convey emotions and traits associated with grizzlies, such as fierceness and a daunting presence. The grizzly bear is currently listed as a threatened species in parts of the United States. Discussing the grizzly bear's conservation status helps raise awareness about environmental issues and the importance of wildlife conservation. It's crucial to understand the role these bears play in their ecosystems, like controlling prey populations and helping to maintain a balanced environment. I hope this video has given you a deeper understanding of the phrase, grizzly bear, and its various connotations in the English language. Grizzly bears are not just fascinating animals, they are an integral part of our culture and environment. Remember, every phrase has a story, and now you know the story behind this one. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next language adventure.